Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. Today we're going to see a method to prevent uh, spammers from spoofing your domain name to send email to your clients or your users saying or imitating that they are exactly from your company. So what they do, they use your domain name and send email to your clients and asking for the payment. Sometimes they send email to your internal users and say that uh, you can go to this link uh, by that way you can expand your mailbox quota. Sometimes your users may receive an email like uh, delivery failed uh, but they say that they didn't send such an email to uh, anyone. So what is happening here spammers using your domain name and imitate as you and send email to your clients and your users to fetch the valuable information. To detect uh, such spoofed emails SPF sender policy framework is the solution. So what is SPF? SPF is a text record you have to enter in your DNX record in this text record you specify the permitted mail server to send email for your organization so for example IT pro guide send an email to a company so the receiver server have the sending server IP address right so it can match with the SPF record in the DNS records so by that way it can verify the center is a genuine center if it didn't match, it can put that let it fail or let it go to the spam folder. And by that way, you get rid of uh, issues like uh, spoofed emails. Uh, let us get into more details. We're going to see in more detail how SPF works. So I have uh, an exchange server for tuitiontube.in and I put SPF record that mail.tuitiontube.in IP address is 93.190.51.37 so any receivers they can verify the SPF record if it is matching with the sending server IP address let them accept my email otherwise drop it SPF record is not just limited with uh, this IP address uh, you can mention a record MX record you can include uh, cloud providers uh, server so let us see how to configure SPF record for such different scenarios next is about SPF record or SPF syntax for a better understanding have a look at the example let us split the example SPF syntax or SPF string into three portions the first portion is v is equal to SPF 1 that is a version that is common for all the servers in the second portion you can specify IP address of your mail server or you can put MX record of your mail server or you can say that uh, any email server send with tuitiontube.in except the email address or if you are using office 365 or zoho.com or any other third party email provider then you have to put include then put their SFP uh, domain address. So you put what SPF version you are using and in the second place you put uh, what parameter need to be uh, matched uh, the receiver smtp server in the third portion you are going to say what action need to be taken so if okay the version number is spf1 and uh, the receiver server found that uh, the ip address is not matching with the ip address mentioned in the spf record in that case you have three options either reject the email address or accept the email address and mark it as a spam or accept regardless of what uh, the spf record so you have three options so you can complete the syntax with version number then the matching address it can be mx record ip address or a record or the third party uh, sfp address then you put what action need to be taken here i put hyphen all it means reject all the emails comes from the servers except the ip address i mentioned here now let's go through the office 365 documentation for spf so as i said any email system you use v is equal to spf1 that is a version of spf then if you are using exchange online that is office 365 exchange then put include spf.protection.outlook.com if you have a third party email system let's say zoho or google then put uh, spf for zoho or google or whatever the email provider if you have on-premises exchange server then put ip4 like what i show in the beginning the same example then if you have uh, on-premises exchange plus online exchange like a hybrid setup then put ip4 address and also put include with uh, spf.protection.outlook.com then at the end you say what action need to be taken if you say 
a hyphen all it means uh, all the emails will be rejected except uh, the email that comes from the IP address that you mentioned if you still have confusion to configure SPF record then you can use SPF wizard so here you have to fill up this uh, form I just put my domain name and I'm gonna put my IP address for example 93.1231.1 uh, then what action I need to uh, take here I'm gonna say fail this is the best option to choose so now my SPF record is ready here I just want to copy this one then go to the domain DNS manager and put it here then click save now we set up SPF record for the exchange server. Let's go and verify the SPF record for that. Go to MX Toolbox, then go to SPF record lookup. Now you can see uh, SPF record here, which we just configured. So this is a version number, and I said uh, uh, this is. So here is the version number, and this is the IP address of my uh, email server match if ip is given in the same range then i put all fail if doesn't match with the ip address so by this way you can verify your spf record also thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe our youtube channel